When choosing a new puppy, it's really vital that you familiarise yourself with the breed and, and what you're really letting yourself in for. Um, now, you could just opt for a bit of a licorice all sort, like the incredibly cute Teddy here, but if you're going to go with a pedigree, it's, it's worth considering what that breed is going to be like. And today we're focusing on arguably one of the most popular breeds in the world, and that's the Labrador Retriever. The Lab Retriever is an incredibly versatile dog. It's used for loads of things, as well as just being an ordinary pet. It's also used as an assistance dog. Um, they're used as sniffer dogs, hearing dogs, medical detection dogs, so a really versatile dog. They also love the water. Um, they're very good at swimming, and they have a great kind of water-resistant coat. Now, um, they're really kind of more suited, I would say, to country life than city life, because they do need a lot of exercise. And it's worthwhile considering that probably it's someone suited to a large house or a large garden. Uh, and the Kennel Club recommends they have over two hours of exercise every day, so if you can't commit to that exercise, the Labrador Retriever might not be the dog for you. Now, personality-wise, they usually have a fantastic temperament, especially if well socialised. They're brilliant with children uh, and usually with other dogs too. Um, but don't take my word for it, we'll have a little chat with Bex, who owns Muddy. So I've owned Muddy since September last year. He's a five-month-old pup. Uh, he's a purebred Labrador Retriever. Um, things that we do with Muddy is at the moment we're just doing our kind of basic training. Um, he's very sociable in here at work and at home when we're either with friends, dogs or out on just a general walk. Loves company of people and other dogs. So he's a very amenable little person. Um, and I really made sure that he was well socialized from a very young age. So I think that really has something to do with it. Health-wise, Labrador Retrievers are pretty robust. Um, there's not a great deal that goes wrong with them, and you should imagine that they're going to live probably on average 10 years, if not more. In terms of the, the routine problems that we do see in Labrador Retrievers, they're pretty prone to skin disease, so they can have allergies causing itchiness, um, but they also get a lot of ear disease too. Um, they also get a lot of joint problems, so things like arthritis, um, or problems with the hips, um, or, or cruciate problems too. Um, and a lot of that, I think, goes hand in hand with the fact that the other problem we see in Labrador Retrievers is a lot of them are overweight. They are a really greedy breed and especially after neutering it's very easy for them to put on the weight so you have to be really careful with your retriever that you're not overfeeding them and, and you keep a good eye on what their weight is. Overall the Labrador Retriever is an excellent breed um, and like with all dogs if you've got the time and commitment to, to give to them they can be an excellent part of your family. Make sure you do your research. <laughs>